Hi there, my name is Jessica Drossen and I create textures for photographers and graphic designers. Today I am going to demonstrate how I add texture to one of my photos. Uh, there's also an in-depth uh, workflow example that's up on the Rock the Shot forum. I'll put the web address in the description. If you'd like to go and check that out, you absolutely can do that. This is going to be a little bit more abbreviated here in this video tutorial. So um, I've got this picture of a senior girl and my issues with it are that I'm, I'm a little bit underexposed on her face. The tones in her skin are a little bit cool for my taste. And also, um, I think that it needs a little bit more visual interest. Uh, we shot this in an alley. The way that she's dressed is, is very cute and hip, but um, also a little edgy. So um, I think it makes a really great opportunity to use the texture Destitute from my Texture Pack 2. Destitute, you can see it over here, uh, has a lighter area in the center that will help to brighten her face. It has a vignetted edges, which is going to draw her eye into the center of the image, right um, to her, her eyes. Uh, it also has some great grungy aspects that I think will work well with our setting and the mood of the shot. Um, additionally, it's in warm tones that is going to help to warm up my photo. So, let's just begin editing it. Um, I'm going to take a quick pass with my dodge tool and just uh, brighten up um, a couple areas before I add the texture. So I'm going to duplicate the layer. Okay, I'm going here to my dodge tool. I am going to make the soft brush at about, I don't know, 240. Um, I'm going to have it in mid-tones, and I'm going to change my exposure to about 5. Now I'm just going to just paint with my dodge tool right over her cheeks, her brow a little bit, just kind of lightening some of these areas up slightly and subtly. Okay. So I'm happy with how that looks. This was the before, this is the after. Again, just using the dodge tool. And I'm going to go ahead and flatten the image. At this point, I pull up my texture. Textures are not actions, they're JPEGs. And so what you wanna do is you wanna have them on the desktop with the photo that you wanna add them to. And you go, you grab your move tool, you grab your texture, you drag it right on top of the photo that you want to add it to. Make sure that it's all the way over edge to edge here and then you go edit, transform, scale and you drag it all the way down. Okay. Now what I'm going to do is I'm going to show you this how it looks in soft light mode. So you can see that it's brightened the center of my photograph. It has vignetted the edges. Um, it's added uh, the texture detail, which is kind of cool. But unfortunately, there's a lot of texture detail on her face. So the bright color is great. The warmth is great, but not the globs. So we're going to get rid of the globs now. Let's take it back into normal mode. And then with our little color dropper tool, we are going to pick a color from the texture itself. We're not going to pick one of the lightest colors and we're not going to pick one of the darkest colors. We're going to pick something right in the middle. And go back to our soft light mode. And this is a good brush size for us. I'm going to change the opacity to let's say 43%. And I'm going to paint. It looks like I'm painting right on her face. Um, but I'm not. I'm painting right on the texture itself. You can see over here I have the, the texture layer pulled up. It's in soft light mode and it's nice because I can see exactly where I need to be erasing texture from. So here we go. Just getting rid of it. Okay. 
Okay. Now to make it blend in a little bit more seamlessly, I, I change the opacity. I, I have it at a fairly low amount. Here it's 10%. And I'm just going to actually paint in the vicinity of my subject. There we go. Just really making it so that there's no nothing abrupt, no hard edges, just keeping things sort of soft and natural. All right. Now what I like to do is double check, put it back in normal mode, make sure that I don't have texture lurking about. And I have some right here, so what I'm going to do is up this a bit, paint over that area that I didn't quite get out and now it's looking good to me I bring it back to the soft light mode and then I'm just going to go ahead and in my hue saturation palette I'm going to just saturate it a little bit more and I'm pretty darn happy with how that's looking I think this one's done thank you very much for tuning in I appreciate it and come back later I'm going to try and have some more videos up thanks so much Bye.